I visited two wine regions was uh, uh, near Cape Town. One of them was this one, which is called Estelenbosch. I, I think that's how they pronounce it, uh, which is so beautiful. This one, yeah, that's the name. Mm, this is my favorite. Very, very beautiful region. And I stayed in Ben Hock Lodge, which I, I highly recommend it. It's a luxury boutique hotel in the middle of the wine land. This hotel was just amazing. The room was very big with the most beautiful view. And this is not their best view, although it was fantastic, but they have rooms that they were sold out. They even have better view than this one. So if you wanna stay here, book it way uh, ahead of time in order to get those rooms which have much better view than this one. And they're on the top floor. From the hotel, you can walk to a few other wineries and it's very safe neighborhood. Um, they also gave me two voucher for two different wineries, but one of those wineries uh, for wine tasting, it was closed on Sunday, but I tried one of them um, and those vouchers are for free. I really regretted that I only booked one night here because this uh, region is very, very beautiful, especially this hotel. So next time I go to Cape Town, I definitely are gonna stay at this specific lodge at least three or four nights. These are all the area that, can, that you can walk from the lodge and it's safe. It's kind of gated. So there is a gate for these uh, few wineries for people to enter. So when you walk from your lodge, you are kind of in a gated um, area, which there's fence around it. So it's safe. You can just go walk at night in the evening uh, or early in the morning. This is the breakfast area and they gave me two options to have the breakfast either here or in my room. I had the breakfast in the room because I had such a beautiful view and I just wanted to sit there. And th this area has beautiful view as well, but it was just more charming for me to eat my breakfast in the room. The breakfast was very, very good and it was included. Here's when I went for one of the wine tasting with the voucher that they gave me and it was free. Most of these wineries, they also have a snack or restaurant, and you also can order a platter of different cheese and grapes for very inexpensive amount. Uh, overall, Cape Town is not expensive. So you can get a really nice, um, say at a very nice hotel for a fraction of the cost compared to the US. There is uh, also a winery, as I said, is walking distance to the lodge and I went there for lunch and that was the closest restaurant because the other wineries, they only have a snack, but this one, they had the full menu and the food was really, really good. This is in the morning uh, at the lodge uh, when I had the breakfast. This area was something about an hour away from Cape Town with Uber and Uber is very accessible in this region. Um, and then the second night I stayed at this hotel, uh, Ashbourne House, in the other region, which is, uh, I can't, I have a hard time pronouncing it, but this is the name of that region. This region has uh, more, um, the, there are more shops, there's a little town there. Um, but I say that this hotel called Ashbourne House and I regret it because it wasn't, and that great and the price wasn't that cheap but um, there was no good view the room was very old uh, the hotel Ashbourne house was close
close to the downtown area of this little town and this is the downtown the location of this hotel was very good but um, the room wasn't and uh, the hotel is like maybe 10 12 minutes away from the downtown and also is like 10 minutes away from this tram this tram is the one that tourists use it as a hop on hop off to go to different wineries and this is one of the wine tasting wineries that i went to uh, with the tram the good thing is you can try different uh, wineries uh, because each one is very different and unique and so you pay one price and you go to different ones uh, versus uh, what i used was uber and it costs more if you want to use uber to go to every single one of these wine tastings and this is a shop in one of the wineries because each one is very different they have different restaurant shops this is back to the hotel ashbourne house this is a hotel that i regretted that i stayed it just wasn't very charming and it was expensive for what they offered also in this area, there are a lot of beautiful farms uh, with boutique hotels that you can stay there. So I highly recommend you stay on a farm. Do not pick a hotel like this one because you don't get any view, uh, where, uh, but you can stay with a little bit more on a beautiful farm with breathtaking view. This hotel, if you look at their picture on their website, they have a beautiful lounge area. Uh, they spend a lot of money on remodeling. That area is so beautiful, but their rooms, you can tell, they did not spend money at all. They were outdated. There was no view. Um, it was kind of depressing. This is one of the wineries, and I, as I said, each one is different. They have different shops. Some of them, they have farms that they allow you to pick fruit. So going with the tram and try so many different wineries is a very, very good idea because some of them are absolutely breathtaking and you want to stay there, there longer. But some of them, they are just okay for, for wine tasting and you want to leave. So that's why it's better to do the hop on hop off tram rather than Uber. This is one of the big uh, farms and uh, they have a big wine tasting. It was, oh, it was nice, but it was too polished, too fake. It wasn't that authentic farm feeling that some of the wineries have. This is good if you have kids because there is um, horses, there are animals on it. This area, this specific area is not the wine farm. This is the Airbnb experience. I found it on Airbnb experiences when you put Cape Town. This is one of the ones that there's a lady who has um, horses and then um, it's in the wine region. So from Cape Town, it takes about 40 minutes, half an hour to 40 minutes with Uber. And then uh, I forgot exactly how much it was, $40 maybe. Mm, but um, yeah, you can do for like an hour and a half um, horse riding.